Hi Sagittarius, it's Elle here to do your um, mid-September general reading. Now it's a general reading, so it will not resonate with um, every person that views the video. But if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Alright, so it looks like some of you Sagittarius people in particular uh Sagittarius men you, you might want your family back or you might be playing with the idea of going back to a family unit or kind of like reestablishing it some way let's see what's going on with my Sagittarius people people okay under the deck the tower unexpected events some epiphany sometimes this star card just keeps showing up for you guys this might be the mother of your children five of wands yeah oh okay yeah um some of you and i think i'm speaking to my sagittarius man and now you can flip it and reverse it <laughs> anyway um Could be the Sagittarius woman. You either want to go back to someone you have a child with, or Sagittarius man, you want to go back to your wife, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius here, uh, your energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. It's like you're hiding something, you're holding on to something, you can't let go of something. Either think about this person at night, there's lots of change here. Five of Wands, Five of Cups, Two of Two of Wands. So much change in the midst of, so it puts you at a crossroads where you feel like, okay, which way am I going? Am I going backwards or am I going forward? Am I going the way where it's going to be tough getting there with the mountain here, or am I going the the easy terrain, the the valley, maybe? Some epiphany, and it's like you're waiting. Where someone's waiting for communication from you. Another five, five of sword. Some of you having um now this is another set of you. Some of you are doing some verbal battle, might even be in regards to an outside person in a relationship. Maybe some of you a partner to Capricorn Virgo Taurus. Some somebody fighting for the relationship. Or fighting for balance in the relationship, feeling stuck because of a, a money issue, wanting forward movement, needing to make a decision about um, being single or not. Somebody needs, wants to reignite something, maybe with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, someone who you did wrong or has been done wrong or is a little bit cold, is very independent, very smart. You feel like Sagittarius feels like their fortune, good fortune is wrapped with this person or in this person. Might be messages of about reestablishing this happy home, this Ten of Cups. Somebody's trying to weigh it out, weigh out their pro, the pros and cons, the options. All while someone's giving them truth and clarity. This might be Virgo. Giving them giving their truth to Sagittarius or, or vice versa. Maybe in regards to solidifying this relationship or business partnership. They want to put the old away, even though it causes anxiety, maybe for this air sign or for you, Sagittarius. But somebody wants a second chance. They want to get to a place of uh, of loving each other again. Emotional fulfillment, reestablishing or establishing lifelong goals and and home and finance. Uh, uh, an old way of doing things. An old cycle has closed. 
This is all about somebody out here wanting a second chance. Let's see if we can get a different message for a different set of Sagittarius. Or maybe we can get you know, some finance message. Got the Hermit. So we're dealing with the Virgo Page of Wands again. The Wheel, the Ten of Wands, the Star. Okay, some of you are dealing with an Aquarius, or or you're healing from putting down the the burden of. This says if you put the past away, you can heal and have wish fulfillment, either in another person or just as just overall wish fulfillment. Some of you have gone within and you've realized that maybe this is the person you four of wands you need to be with. King of Wands, yeah, this is could be someone you have pregnant or the mother of your children, once again, or vice versa, father of your child. Rebirth. You want a second chance with Either Cancer Pisces, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, or the or someone who's very intuitive, the mother of your children, someone who's very independent, self self um, sufficient. Either you or they, or you, you want to offer something here. It looks positive. It's like you're trying to manifest that. You're dealing with the Capricorn. Some of you have some secrets and or just outright lies in regards to another person outside of an established relationship. Some of you are trying to really manipulate the energy surrounding this. You want to hold on to maybe a third party situation or addiction. And then what pops out when I say hold on to the four of pentacles. And look, the guy's got a locked treasure chest. It's like you're trying to hold on. So for some of you dealing with maybe Capricorn in particular or Capricorn Virgo Taurus, I don't know. Um, you got somebody else or they have somebody else. It's, it's as if you want to hold on to this. High Priestess, when you're dealing with a Taurus, Scorpio. Some of you trying to hold on to two people. You want two people. Knowing that you need to put an end to something and move forward and make a decision. But you're feeling stuck and trapped, but longing for communication from another. Wondering if you should offer your pentacle to somebody from the past. Trying to devise a plan of action, sneaking around, lying, and trying to put in work in this Two of Cups type of relationship, maybe from the past, because you are absolutely dreadfully bored, tired of lack of fulfillment, lackluster. Not getting the attention you want, maybe from a Gemini, or not getting the attention you want because there is someone, a love from the past. Maybe someone you have children with that you want to reconcile with. This is fucking crazy. Um, Sagittarius, let's do yes or no spread. Should you go back to the person from the past or? Three different decks, and all of them, right? Three different decks, or two different decks, and then all of them say the same thing. And and it could be vice versa. Sad. Someone's thinking about offering you something. I want to come back to you. 
just sad to go back to the person or offer it in relationship to, a per to the person from the past. Okay, let's go. Now, of course, this is general. This is the yes or no spread. You can get this spread for $10 over at my website. Um, have a yes or no question and it will be answered. So let's see. Should Sag go back to the person from the past? Bottom of the deck, the Four of Cups again. Uh, I don't know if this person will take you back or you'll take this person back, Sag. But what this says is that either way, somebody is uh, thinking about, you know, the, the past once again. The Three of Cups. Not looking at what they have right now. Oh, Eight of Cups in the upright it says yes you should you should walk away from whatever it is you you got going now abandon ship and possibly go back to the person from the past the two of cups in the upright wow because this could be a successful relationship ten of wands in reverse but someone's refusing to let bygones be bygones lay down the past lay down the past hurt and burden and move forward and this could be you Sag because it's your energy okay all right let's do some angel answers and get on out of here this is I mean it's good if it's if somebody okay this just came out wait so if you have questions out here here are your answers if some of you want to go back to someone from the past then here it is the situation will improve improving health trust yeah, and, and I think that's where this is coming from. You have lack of trust, lack of faith in this situation. If you believe, well, all right. And let's get some butterfly oracle cards in here. Welcome the new. Okay. Health care change, and we do have improving health. Get a second, third opinion. Uh, memories. And I think that's what's holding you here. Memories of the past, of the good times. Three popped out for you. Join in, new career, keep the faith. Bottom of the deck, emotions. Memories and emotions. Wow, that's, that's pretty heavy. You know, the memories stir your emotions in, in which you may want to go back. It seems like that's what's going on here. Keep the faith. If this is what you want, if you believe you can have it, just trust that. Okay? I hope that this message resonated for each and every person out there who came to get a message. Um, if it does, like, share, comment, subscribe. Take advantage of the $10 yes or no spread. See what's going on for you. Or go over to my website and book a um, reading of oh, your liking of your choice um, do keep in mind Monday Wednesday and Friday you can talk to L go over and book minutes with L buy minutes with L and call the number and guess what happens I pick up and we talk about whatever you want to talk about via the tarot okay all right so know that I'm praying for you Sag pray for me as well all of my information is below thank you and take care guys